Utah took a trip to Phoenix, and that eight ranking will stay the same. Who knows if it'll bounce a victory, but a hard-fought five-setter because ASU was a handful, better said a woeful at the net. They had 15 blocks, 15 to the Utes' six, and that's really what made the difference in this match. For a team, ASU hitting just 079, there were answers over and over. You saw Kennedy Boyd, she had seven blocks. You see Megan Beatty, she had seven blocks. Uh, Levinska had seven blocks as well. Those were the answers, and that's what kept it close. Also, a celebration of Iman Isanovich and how she was able to play. Just filled her resume from top to bottom. She had six blocks, but she had 15 digs. She had 12 kills. She had 43 swings at it. They set her as much as they could, but she'll do anything to help her team. Her coach said that she did the best she could, but there was really an unmatched effort from Danny Drews. Spectacular. It had been since 2019 that the multiple All-American had had 30-plus kills in a match. She had 31. She was outstanding. Defensively had 15 digs as well. One of the finest players in the land played like it. And you know what? She played like it when her team needed it the most. She lifted her team on her back and carried them to a five-set victory. She was incredible. It's fun to watch Danny Drews work. Certainly fun to watch Iman Isanovich work as well. And we'll do it again on Sunday, 12 o'clock Pacific, noon Pacific, right here in this beautiful, of course, the back-to-back -back matches. Saturday, both these teams will be off, but excited to do it again. It was a five-setter. We'll see what happens on Sunday. A perfect start to the season for the Utes. They're 5-0. I'm Darren. See you soon.